In today's episode, we bring you three tragic cases that highlight the devastating consequences that can arise when greed and desperation take hold. From the murder of a basketball star to tales of love turned lethal, these stories will leave you questioning the depths people are willing to sink for financial gain. Let's begin. Our first case takes us to Memphis, Tennessee, a tragic event unfolded on July 19, 2010, that shook the basketball world and left a community mourning the loss of one of their own. This is the story of the murder of Lawrence and Wright. Lawrence and Wright, a former NBA player and a hometown hero, was gunned down in Memphis at the age of 34. Lawrenson had achieved fame and fortune as a player for the Grizzlies basketball team, but his life was cut short in a senseless act of violence. The night before his tragic death, on July 18, 2010, Lawrenson visited his children at his ex-wife's home in Collierville, near Memphis. It was the last time he was seen alive. Little did anyone know that this would be the start of a harrowing mystery that would take years to unravel. Nine days after his disappearance, Lawrenson's lifeless body was discovered in a wooded area in southeast Memphis. The community was in shock, and the case quickly became a baffling puzzle for investigators. For seven long years, the case went cold, leaving many wondering if justice would ever be served. But in December 2017, a breakthrough finally came when Lawrenson's ex-wife, Shara Wright, and a man named Billy Ray Turner were arrested. Shara Wright, driven by jealousy and greed, revealed to law enforcement that Lawrenson's murder may have been drug-related. She claimed that he had left her home with drugs and money for a supposed deal. Now writes X, Shara is telling investigators that her former husband left her home about 10.30 on the 18th with a box of drugs. She says he returned a short time later, then left again with drugs and money. However, later it was discovered that the killers were driven by jealousy and greed, and Shara Wright received $1 million from her ex-husband's life insurance policy and settled a court dispute in 2014 over how she spent the insurance money meant to benefit their six children. The pieces of the puzzle started falling into place during the trial. Witnesses testified that Billy Ray Turner played a crucial role in luring Lawrence into a remote area where he was shot and killed. They also revealed that Shara Wright orchestrated the entire plan and helped cover up the crime. In March 2022, Billy Ray Turner was found guilty of first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. He was sentenced to life in prison. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first-degree murder as charged in count one of the indictment, count two, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. The verdict reads as follows. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of conspiracy to commit first-degree murders charged in count two of the indictment. The trial exposed Shara Wright as the mastermind behind the murder, motivated by money troubles. The murder of Lawrence and Wright serves as a somber reminder of the tragic consequences of domestic violence and greed. It took years for justice to prevail, but Lawrence and's killers were finally held accountable for their actions. Our next case takes us to Manila, a tale of love, betrayal, and murder unfolded on a hot night in 2002. This is the tragic story of Stephen and Evelyn, a story that left a community shocked and hearts broken. Stephen Hughes, a British businessman, had traveled to Manila and checked into a hotel. Little did he know that this would be the last night of his life. His girlfriend, Evelyn Rodriguez, a Filipino nurse, would soon become the prime suspect in his murder. Stephen and Evelyn had been in a relationship for several months. Stephen had been supporting Evelyn financially, but their love story took a dark turn when he discovered the truth. Evelyn had been married all along and had been lying to Stephen about her marital status. Stephen confronted Evelyn about her deception, and a heated argument ensued. The trust they had built was shattered, and their relationship was on the verge of collapse. The following day, tragedy struck. Stephen's lifeless body was discovered in his hotel room. He had been strangled to death. The evidence quickly pointed towards Evelyn, and she was arrested and charged with his murder. During the trial, shocking revelations came to light. It was revealed that Evelyn had been having an affair with another man and had been planning to leave Stephen for him. Her motive became clearer as it was discovered that she had been stealing money from Stephen and had forged his signature on several checks. Despite her claims of innocence, the jury found Evelyn guilty of murder. She was sentenced to life in prison, her fate sealed by the evidence and the circumstances surrounding Stephen's death. The case received extensive media coverage, sparking a debate about the dangers of international relationships and the exploitation of vulnerable individuals. It serves as a grim reminder of the consequences of deceit, manipulation, and the devastating effects they can have on those involved. In conclusion, the tragic story of Stephen and Evelyn is a heart-wrenching tale of love, betrayal, and murder.
This was not a work of fiction, but a real-life tragedy with profound consequences. Our final case brings us to a seemingly ordinary day in a city overshadowed by a deadly encounter. Kaira Walker's life took a tragic turn when a disagreement over money spiraled out of control. Kaira Walker, a 23-year-old woman with no prior criminal record, found herself caught in a web of anger, greed, and tragic consequences. Let's take a closer look at the events that unfolded. Kaira Walker's life took a dark turn when she agreed to sell drugs to a man named Orlando Yule. Initially, it was a straightforward transaction, but a disagreement over the price turned the situation sour. Instead of the requested $200, Orlando changed his mind and offered Kaira only $40. As tensions rose, Kaira's frustration grew. She wanted the full amount, and Orlando's refusal ignited a dangerous spark. In a moment of rage and poor judgment, Kaira resorted to violence. What Kaira didn't realize in that moment of anger was the irreversible tragedy she was about to unleash. With a gun in hand, she shot Orlando Yule, taking his life over a mere dollar two hundred. It was a senseless act that would forever change the lives of those involved. Panicked and overwhelmed by guilt, Kaira attempted to cover her tracks. She disposed of the murder weapon, hoping to erase any evidence linking her to the crime. But as we know, the truth has a way of surfacing. Law enforcement launched a meticulous investigation, piecing together the puzzle of what truly happened that fateful day. Surveillance footage, eyewitness accounts, and Kaira's own sister provided crucial information that ultimately led to her arrest. During the intense interrogation, Kaira eventually confessed to the murder. Remorseful and filled with regret, she admitted that her actions were driven by anger and greed. The devastating consequences of her choices were now inescapable. Kaira Walker was charged with the murder of Orlando Yule and faced a lengthy legal process. The trial, held to determine her guilt or innocence, was a somber affair, with friends and family of both the victim and the accused grappling with the weight of the situation. The court proceedings showcased the tragic loss of a life over a trivial dispute, leaving everyone involved to question the value we place on human existence. Ultimately, the jury reached a verdict and justice was served. The story of Kaira Walker serves as a grim reminder that even the most insignificant conflicts can escalate into irreversible tragedies. It underscores the importance of seeking peaceful resolutions and cherishing the value of human life. In conclusion, these three cases shed light on the dark realities of murdering for money. From the murder of a basketball star to tales of love gone wrong and disputes turned deadly, they serve as cautionary tales about the destructive power of greed and desperation. Thank you for joining us today on this chilling exploration. If you found this episode thought-provoking, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more gripping true crime stories.